Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my school supply haul and everything I got, I either bought barely or I do have a lot of things that I have from over the years so I'm gonna keep reusing them. I've watched these kinds of videos for a very long time and I will have more school related videos coming out so make sure you guys stick around and subscribe. If you don't already know, I do attend Fresno State and this will be my sophomore year that's coming and I'm so excited to start it. My freshman year was so easy, so I hope this year is gonna be easy as well. Watch me fucking fail. <laughs> but yeah, let's get started and let me show you my school supplies. So to start off, I'm gonna show you guys my backpack and this is the pink from Victoria's Secret Collegiate Backpack or I don't know how you pronounce it, but this is what it looks like. I think regular it's like 60 or 60 something but they were on sale for $30 so it was a steal for me and I bought this one. I think this is in the color rose clay. It has a lot of pockets and that's what I really like about it. So if you have any of the previous collegiate backpacks, you would know that they have a laptop sleeve back here, but they don't anymore. Then the laptop sleeve will be inside the big pocket and there's more pockets right here. So I'm gonna start off with notebooks and things like that. This is just a pen and gear composition book. It has a hundred sheets and this is college ruled. I forgot to mention that most of these school supplies are from Walmart and if they're from somewhere else I will let you guys know. Next I have the pen and gear 3 subject white notebook. This one has 150 sheets and it is college ruled as well. I picked up another 3 subject same notebook as that one just in purple and this semester I'm taking like almost all my classes online so I didn't need to get a big subject notebook and that's why I only got 3. But for spring semester, I'm not sure if I'm going to be taking online classes. It depends how this one goes. But if I decide to get normal classes at school, I'm, I picked up this five subject notebook. And this is in white. And this one has 200 sheets. And it's the same from Pen and Gear as the other ones. And then I picked up this folder. It says, Be a Pineapple. Stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet. I thought it was really cute, and it's the same color as the notebook, so I thought it would be a good addition. I'm a head ass. And if you know me, you know I really love pineapples, so I thought this was so cute. Then I picked up this dry erase board. It's a really small, it has two magnets, and it has a dry erase pen with a little eraser on top. And this was only $2, guys. It was at Walmart, and it's from the brand Pen and Gear. And it does have magnets. Ooh, why did I say like that? It does have magnets in case you guys want to put it on a mini fridge or anything like that. Okay, I'm just gonna be piling up everything here, I guess. Now I also have four of the regular one subject notebooks just in case I need them for the online classes. I believe with the other ones I'm g it's going to be enough. Stop looking at me. Oh, I thought you were looking at me. <laughs> with the other ones it should be enough but I picked up these just in case I need them. And then since the folder is a prong folder I have college ruled paper. Damn that's a lot of fucking notebooks. It stresses me out already. <laughs> I have these sheet protectors. I have them just in case like for the syllabi that gets handed out to me so they don't get ripped because you will need them for reference throughout the whole semester. Don't think it's just like a set of rules. You will have to follow it through and most of the time they put deadlines and things like that for important things for the class so it's important to have those things handy. The next thing that I have is my planner and it says make it happen. It's baby pink with like these white brush strokes and this one I got it at Macy's Backstage and it was only $6.99. What the f- Today's in September? Yeah. <laughs> September of this year? Yeah. That doesn't make sense so you should start in August. I just realized that this planner doesn't start until September. I mean, it's okay because we start the last week and a half of August, so anything else that I have, I'll just write it on a post-it or in my phone. But it is a monthly spread and then it goes into and then it goes into a weekly spread like this and it has a lot of room. 
Before we get into the pens and things like that, I'm gonna show you guys, this is a pencil case that I found at Dollar Tree. It is like a burlap material and it has these two butterflies. And I have this little bag. This is actually an Ipsy bag, but I'm gonna use it to put all my feminine hygiene products. Now for my actual pencil case, I'm gonna be using my makeup case, which is the Morphe and Jeffree Star makeup little bag. As you can see, I already have some things in here. Now I'm gonna get into my pens and things like that. These I've had for a couple years now and they're the Papermate Write Bros pens. I have them in black and blue, just your basic everyday pens. These I purchased last year and they're the Ticonderoga black pencils. As a college student, you need number two pencils. I know people like to write in pen or lead pencils, but you do need to carry number two pencils because for the Scantrons, you need these and they won't accept anything else. These pencils I also bought last year. As you can see, I still have almost most of them in here and they're just the big sparkle pencils. I believe these are in the 0.7. Since I have a lot of my writing utensils from last year, I decided to splurge a little bit and I bought these basic pencils that you know everybody be posting about. These are the Papermate Clear Point pencils and I got them in teal and green. Also from last year, I have these UB, or is it you buy? Because it says you buy, you be give. So would it be you buy or you be? Hmm. Next, I actually got these from Amazon and there's like a whole pack of the white erasers and I believe it was like 7 somewhere from 7 to $10. Now this is my favorite thing from the whole haul. I bought these on Amazon and they are Korean highlighters. These these are the Powerline 2500 highlighters and there's 12 colors and they're all pastels. I already have this but just an FYI to like incoming freshmen and things like that. Um, I wouldn't say buy one for sure, it just depends on your teacher and how big the class is, but you most likely will need an eye clicker. Now this is an old pencil pouch from last year. I have all my Papermate flare pens, these are the best. I also have some of the... I also have a gel pen from Papermate in here, but these flare pens are the best for writing in your planner or writing your notes in general because they will because they dry down really fast and you don't have to worry about them smudging. Smudging. You don't have to worry about them smearing all over your paper. In here, I also have some whiteout. Um, I've never really used this, but people always look for it. So I've always been that person to like let someone borrow it. Also in here, I have this it's swing line mini stapler. You don't know how bad you're gonna need this because professors, they don't provide staplers for you. And I know some do dock points off for not having your paper stapled, so make sure you guys buy a mini stapler. Last year, I bought this mini UB stationery kit. And it has like a mini stapler, staple remover, staples. It had a tape roller right here and an extra tape, but I took it out. It's just a really good mini case to have. Now post-its. If you read textbooks and things like that, you're gonna need post-its just to mark down pages, especially if you're reading a book in class or something like that. You're gonna need to mark pages and mark certain key terms, you know, that might be on the test. So this is from a pack from last year. It had a bunch of smaller page markers, but I used them obviously. And so I rebought page markers, and these are the regular neon ones. And then I found these on Amazon and it has more of a variety in here. Next up, you're gonna need an index card. I like to get the blank ones because the lines are kind of annoying and you have to write between them and like sometimes you wanna write a bunch of things and they don't fit because of the lines. So on the blank ones, you can design it however you want and study for what you need. The next items are like some essentials that you need for yourself, not really for school but I think they're really important and things that you should have. One of them being is a pack of gum because you never know when you're gonna need it. Next up, I have a mini deodorant. I accidentally got the men's, but it's okay, it's fine. Um, I probably won't need it. Just in case one day you know you're rushing, you're out the house really fast and you're like, oh, I forgot to put on deodorant. So you have a mini one with you or you can leave it in your car too. Next, some things for your hands. This is a hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. You need hand sanitizer because you can only imagine how many germs are around the school. I know they clean it and everything, but you just never know. And then I have this mini hand lotion. It's also from Bath & Body Works and you just never know when you're actually next up some type of lip balm that you'll need 
I use the chapstick. I like the strawberry because it gives you a tint. But yeah, that's about it for my school supply haul. I hope you guys really liked it. I'm going to be doing college advice and everything for incoming freshmen and things like that geared specifically to Fresno State and what I went through as a freshman in college, first generation student. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Also, make sure you guys are following my Instagram because I'm almost at 2,000 followers and once I reach that 2K, I will be doing a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!